Hi everyone. So uh, being new to kayaking, I was looking for a good way to haul my kayak uh, in my Dodge Dakota pickup uh, rather than sliding it into the back, which I've done a few times, but I wanted to make a rack or find a rack. So I looked online and YouTube and I borrowed uh, M.O. Yacker, uh, M.O. Yacker's design and uh, I tried that out. Uh, all in all, it took me about a little over three hours to, to complete the project. Uh, not too bad. I just, I just did it by myself. Um, I spent uh, less than seventy dollars in materials. I can uh, put a materials list up um, for that uh, in the comments section of, uh, of what I used. Uh, I actually overestimated by two boards, but um, so that would have brought the cost down you know a few dollars there but um, I think this is going to work out well for me and um, just bear in mind that uh, with uh, dimensions um, I had to make some adjustments on my dimensions and on this rack uh, because I have a bed liner and uh, so it wasn't matching up very well as far as uh, trying to get everything to, to fit well but um, I was able to get it in there and, and with some modifications and adjustments and it's gonna work well for me so uh, just just bear in mind you know if, if you want dimensions and things like that it's, it just really depends on your your pickup so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and show you the rack um, here it is toolbox here that's in the truck is not going to stay in there. I'm going to take that out because I don't like the way uh, that it's sitting in there. So I'm just going to get a box that drops into the bed and I'll just get rid of this toolbox here. So you can see here's the rack. Again, I borrowed this design from Emma Yacker made out of pressure treated lumber and you can see that I used the same idea uh, as far as anchoring this down into the bed I'm just using a ratchet strap and it, it holds very secure I mean this is a uh, it's solid. It's solid in there. So, uh, again, I use the same design. Put some eye bolts in. Uh, there's two on each side. There's actually another one up, up in the front. You can't see it because of the toolbox, but uh, eye bolt on this side. Or the ratchet strap that's going to hold the kayak in place. I use the foam uh, insulation for cushioning and you can also see here I used uh, PVC in the center. Use PVC. It's wrapped by half inch uh, foam and then I put uh, one inch foam on top of that for more padding. Just used ties, uh, zip ties, tie that down. The U bolts are in place. Again, this is you know this is Mo Yacker's design, so I, I just borrowed from that. And on this side, I have a ratchet strap uh, that I uh, screwed into the uh, to the board on this side. The only other thing that I did uh, that's different from MO's design is I added an eye bolt here and also in the front, in the center, here. Uh, I just added those in uh, in the event that uh, the strap I'm using is a 14 foot strap. 
but I don't know uh, how long uh, that's going to be as far as, uh, you know, if it's going to hold two kayaks with a 14 footer because that's all I got right now. So I added that eye bolt in the center uh, so that I could, you know, use two straps. So that's the only difference uh, between my, you know, what I did here and, and M.O. Yacker's uh, design. So, but everything else is the same. And I think this is really going to work out well for me. I, I haven't tested, I put the kayak on top and strapped it down and it holds very well. Uh, I haven't traveled with it yet, but um, we'll see what happens when I do. Uh, I can post an update later for that. But um, this design I, I think is going to work well for me. So that's it. That's, that's my rack <laughs> that I'm going to use for my kayak. So. Thanks for tuning in.